Hey YouTube and thank you for watching Junkworks DIY Garage. Uh, this video I'm putting up, I've actually filmed this quite a while ago. I've done a bunch of stuff and I'm going to kind of show you that it worked well, really YouTube, well. This will be the second time I've used this and I actually plowed out my mom's driveway and I plowed out this way, to, this driveway two days ago and we are already probably another six to eight inches of snow in the last couple days and we're supposed to get more so I'm gonna show you me plowing a little bit here but it broke again unfortunately and I'm going to tell you that right off the bat because you know if you're just looking at this for this to work um, you don't need to watch everything I just did in fact I'm going to probably try and pare the video down from what I have it at but regardless of that I think it's a really good idea I think it could work I just think the parts I used uh, well not the parts I think my tractor axle just finally couldn't hold up to it basically so I think if you use the right axle or the right uh, you know got something really sturdy for it it would work really really good for something like this and it, it would technically be pretty easy um, if you watch till the end and see how I, I actually did fix it unfortunately the axle broke so I'm just telling you that right up front so you know this is kind of a fail video but I think it'll work really well so and watch it in and also I have a, a little surprise of something new that I got a new project so um, anyhow hopefully you enjoy this hey YouTube Sam here well you're looking at a peerless to come see rear end I believe it's an 820 I don't or 802 I honestly don't know what the numbers are or what they mean exactly I had them all written down and somehow I've lost the paperwork so in the description below it'll have what this actual rear end is but beyond that um, go check out all my videos I got videos on putting this whole thing together and the bushings and blah 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 kind of rebuilding the whole thing now uh, I'm at the point where it's time to start putting the spider gears down in here and, and buttoning it up but I would like to try to make this a locking rear end, but I'd like to try and do it without welding. So this will be a non-welding, lockable rear end, hopefully by the time we're done with this video. I have a 5 8 inch drill bit, which should be just about right I'm pretty happy that. with this it's so what I'm doing now that I know about where the two marks are where that came in I'm gonna set this kind of right about in the center and mark this um, We got her in. Uh, I cut it. Yeah, I'm gonna put the. What I need to do actually is put the pin in here, and I gotta figure out which side goes and where. But put that in there like that, right up against the pin, and then I'm gonna take and make sure that it's where I want it everything's right I'm not to that point yet and I'm not going to do it on camera because it's just too tedious but anyway take this I have a uh, transfer punch you can get these fairly cheap I think they even have them at Harbor Freight I got mine when my dad passed that's where I got mine from but that'll go down in there it sits in there nicely and you, it'll transfer a punch mark onto here and then I'll know right where to drill straight through at best I can. All right. In theory, this is how it should go. The pins go through here all the way. Hopefully not breaking and keeping these where they need to be. Or bolts or whatever I decide to use. And then this pin should go through the middle. And hold it from going in or out. And also 
basically make things turn uh, lock everything up so it seems to be working okay yet again this is a place where who knows if it's going to work or not I could drive this around for a year and everything would be hunky dory and it could snap or I could drive it around for a day and it could snap who knows um, I do think I'm going to try and find some nuts and bolts that have. I believe this will work we're going to try it out I'm going to stick it all back together um, the other videos I've done should show pretty much everything to put it back together I'm, I'm just this is just showing you what I'm doing that didn't work grade last eight bolts time. grade eight bolts all the way through and what I did is I went ahead and put a nut locker a washer and a nut and thread locker on each side um, and I put them opposite to hopefully offset some of the imbalance of the link it does seem to go all the way through um, without any hitting I actually this need side. to put it in the case and make sure that it's not going to hit anything in here before I finalize everything. And the shank everything. on these bolts are almost all the way through. There's just a little bit of thread um, sticking inside of this piece here, but very, very little. Mostly at shank all the way through. So I'm hoping that does the trick. Um, so we shall see. This is the hopefully final iteration of this uh, i'm not sure like i said on the videos what's going to happen but we'll go ahead and put this thing together and hopefully it all works well, out good news youtube my uh locker didn't break the axle bit so unfortunately uh back to the drawing board because i believe that where it snapped is right where i drilled it for that bolt so quite honestly um I, I think I'm pretty much done with this project for a while and uh, I will hopefully get it going again but I think I'm going to have to buy an, a, either a new axle, probably not even a new axle because I don't think that will hold up. What I think I'm going to have to do is actually go buy some rod that uh, is probably way more expensive than what I want to put into this tractor. So. We'll see where we go from here, and uh, sorry, this is just not working out. But I still think I'm going to put it up because I do think it's kind of a good idea if somebody else can perfect it. Um, I'm just not ready to spend the time or the effort or the money on it right now. And I will show you why. So there you go. Now you know why I probably am going to wait a while before I worry about fixing the other one. Um, got me a new project. It runs and drives. Uh, I'll have a story on it so go check that out if you want to check out the story on it. It's a Ferguson tractor. Um, I'm not quite sure what year. I haven't looked at everything yet but it runs like a top and it's got the bucket loader which is what I really wanted. Uh, now I can move the snow anywhere I want to move it and dump it so uh, and I got a lot more projects coming up where I'll be hopefully be able to use that for anyhow uh, got an okay deal on it I think uh, if I do a little bit of cleaning and fixing maybe even a little bit of a paint job on it um, I'll, I can make money off of it if I go or when I go to resell it um, anyhow there you go sorry uh, that it didn't really there's no real ending to this story until much later down the road, uh, but I do think, yet again, I'm putting this out because I think it's a good idea. I just think somebody else needs to perfect it. Um, maybe someday I'll watch a video of one of you out there doing the same thing and, and uh, send that video to me if you figure out a better way of doing it. Um, 
Anyhow, all right, I'm going to call that a video. So thank you for watching Junkworks DIY Garage, where I'm proud to be a jack of all, and I'm obviously a master of none. You all have a good one.